Tak byl! 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 Tak
about himself in the Bible. I'll give you one example. In every Christian Bible, in the Gospel according to John, chapter 17, verse 1, about Jesus, in the Bible it said, Jesus, he looked towards heaven and prayed. Is this verse true? It's a verse in the Bible. So he's telling us, Jesus, he looked towards heaven and prayed. So here we understand, if Jesus was God, then how comes Jesus looked towards heaven and prayed? If Jesus was pr God, then who did Jesus pray to? If Jesus was God, did Jesus himself have another God above Jesus? So the answer there is simple. That Jesus, peace be upon him, like it tells us in our Holy Quran, in Surah Ali Imran, in Surah Maryam, in Surah As-Saf, it tells us that Isa Islam, Jesus, peace be upon him, he was a prophet. So we Muslims believe Isa Islam, Jesus, peace be upon him, was a prophet, no more, no less. Now look what it says in the Christian Bible. In every Christian Bible, in the Gospel according to John, which is the fourth Gospel in every Christian Bible. In the Gospel according to John, chapter 9, verse 17, a man was asked about Jesus. Who is Jesus? So the man replied. In Gospel according to John, chapter 9, verse 17, the man replied, he, Jesus, he is a prophet. So the Bible says Jesus was a prophet. So how can this Christian then preach in speaker's corner and say Jesus was God? So how can the Christian then you say? Jesus Pardon? You can't see Jesus. No, we can't see. We haven't seen Jesus. Okay. Anyway, are you? A, okay. Are you a Christian lady? I'm Muslim. Oh, you're Muslim. Alhamdulillah. That is okay. Okay. So anyway, there I would like to end. And you have seen for yourself that these Christian preachers, whether they have an experience of preaching in the church, in speakers' corner, to members of the public, whether they have been speaking for 40 years for 30 years, for 10 years, but when it comes to debate with a Muslim, these preachers are scared to answer simple questions. These preachers finally run away. And that's what happened with this experienced preacher who has been coming to Speaker's Corner for years, standing on ladders, standing on the ground, preaching the Christian Bible, preaching about Christianity, but he still has no confidence. Why? Allah says in our Holy Quran, in Surah Bani Israel, also known as Surah Al-Isra, which is Surah chapter number 17, ayah verse number 81. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in our Holy Quran, wa kul al haqqo wa zahak al batil وَقُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقُّ وَزَاقَ الْبَاطِلِ When the truth arrives, falsehood vanishes. When the truth arrives, falsehood, it perishes. إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوكَ For falsehood was bound to perish. إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوكَ For what is not truth, what is falsehood was bound to vanish, was bound to perish. That's what happens. When we Muslims come to debate with these Christian preachers, they vanish, they perish. Why? Because they have the falsehood and we have the truth. That is why we are still here and they have gone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to my fellow Muslims and to the other non-Muslims. You are my fellow human brothers and sisters. I invite you, read our Holy Quran. You can get a translation of our Holy Quran in any language of the world. Read it for yourselves. Why? Because in our Holy Quran, who does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love? 
He loves those who are the righteous. Who are the righteous? The people who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people who believe in the truth. The people who believe in all the books of Revelation. That's us Muslims. We believe in the previous books. We believe in the Torah. We believe in the in the Zabur of Dawood al-Islam. We believe in the Torah of Torah of Musa al-Islam. We believe in the Injil, the Gospel Injil of Isa al-Islam. And of course, we believe in the last and the greatest book of all revelations, our Holy Quran. So there I am. Salaam alaikum.